Hey guys, it's Eric, a.k.a. Azraeli Turnout here from Lumbridge.net. Here with a new segment that I wanted to try out called RuneScape Math. So I'm calling this the Stiller's Algebra Session, um, because mostly when you think about it, you use algebra a lot. Well, you don't, but the RuneScape computer system does. For example, if you go to the Grand Exchange and you want to buy something, it's using algebra. Um, it, and generally, it's a simple XYZ. X, plus, X times Y equals Z. What do I mean by this? Well, this is ba pretty basic algebra. It's where you have a few variables, where, say, X is the price, Y is a quantity, and Z is the total amount. Say you want to buy bowstrings. Those are about 180 gold apiece, right? Say you want to buy 500 of them. That equal, Then we're solving for Z. So 180 times 500 is equal to 90k. So what I'm planning on doing with this is to show you how to train crafting without losing any money. How do you do this? It's easy. We're going to use the method for battle staves. And for this method, you're going to need 66 plus crafting if you're going to use air orbs. So, and what this ends up being is one giant equation. It's not x, y, z. This one is y minus 7k plus x times v. We're going to have to put another parentheses in here. Another parentheses times v equals the absolute value of y minus x plus z times s. Now, this is a pretty intimidating question, intimidating thing to solve for. So we're going to break this up into two different equations, and we're going to have them both equal p. What this equation solves is how to get how many battle staves you can buy and air orbs to craft into air basil staves without losing any money. Let's start with the first equation. And in algebra, you always have to define your variables. So we're going to let do that now. X is going to be the price of air orbs. Y is the price of air battle staves. P is our unknown. We don't know what P is. And V is a, ver is a variable for each of us. It's the number of battle staves per day that you can buy from, buy from Zaf and Verog. This is based dependent on if you have Varrock armor. If you have no Varrock armor, you can get 8 per day. If you have level 1 Varrock armor, you can get 16. If you have level 2 Varrock armor, you can get 32. And finally, if you have level 3 armor, you can get 64 each day for 7,000 gold. So now that we've defined our variables, Let's solve the equation and plug in what we know. Well, for this example, we're going to say that y, the price of air battle staves, is 9,080 gold, which is about right. Minus parentheses, and the parentheses, if you haven't studied algebra yet, just denotes that this is an equation in its own, that you want to solve this portion before you do move on to the next, which means we want to solve 7k plus, we'll say the air orbs cost 12, us 1,200 gold, not too far-fetched, multiplied by v, which in our case is going to be 64, because that's how many I can get in a day, equals p, our unknown. So since this, this set of var variables needs to be solved first, we'll do that one first. So 82, and that equals 8,200. and we'll carry the rest of the information down. Yeah.
In algebra, you don't use x to, for multiplication. You use a simple dot in the middle of the page. Now I figured out that we get 880 gold per battle staff when we purchase them from staff. And we can, since we have 64 battle staffs a day, that equals our P. This total comes to 56,320 gold. We're going to need this number near, later for the next equation. So go ahead and put it down in the corner. We introduce a different th item and a new variable. Two new variables. Actually, I forgot. Equals P. Now the brackets stand for a different thing than solving the parentheses first. Brackets denote what's called absolute value. Absolute value means that if the equation inside of the absolute value brackets is a negative number, the brackets cancel out the negative and make the number a whole positive integer. So we're going to solve, since we know we're going to have our variables be x, y, z, and p, and then s is our unknown. Again, X is air orbs, the price of air orbs. Y is the price of air battle staves. Z is going to be the price of battle staves on the grand exchange. And then P was our previous unknown. But it is going to stand for profit. And then S is our unknown. We know what P is. It's 56,320 from our previous equation. We know what y is, which is 9,080 from our previous equation. x was 1,200. And for the purpose of this equation, we're going to say that z is 8,100. We're running out of room. <laughs> Close the brackets. Add s and the absolute value. So we're going to make this equation a little bit smaller. 56,320 equals, and we're going to solve in the first bracket first. In this bracket first. This is 9080 minus, and this turns out to be 9300 times s. So this ends up being negative 220 times s. But since absolute, the absolute values the brackets are there, it's just 220s is equal to 56,320. And since we no longer need this, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to divide by 220 to solve for s. These 220s cancel out. We're going to flip this around so that we're sol shows that we're solving for s. s equals 256. And we use the simple calculator to figure out what 56,320 is divided by 220. Th what this means, basically, after solving these two equations, we find out that we can purchase an additional 256 battle staves and air orbs to make into air battle staves, which will sell for 9,080 gold. These are just example prices, so don't say figure that this is going to be how it works for you. When we sell them, the, grant, the total of our money will be the same as if we hadn't done any of this at all. However, we'll have experience from doing 320 air battle staves. I hope this was helpful, and I hope that if you think that this was helpful, that you'll comment, rate, and subscribe to us, and tell us that you want us to do this again.